we decided that we were going to dedicate part of our warehouse space to our brine making service. Because it's such an integral part of our business plan for the winter, we wanted to do it right. So what we did, we installed a SnowX uh, brine maker. We did this a couple of years ago. It's totally computerized. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. We load granular material in the top. It goes through a hammer mill. It's blended with water. And then uh, when it hits 23.3%, it gets discharged from this unit into our storage tanks. We use our storage tanks a little differently. So what we have, we have three tanks that we, we store 23.3% brine in. And then we have a fourth tank that we store 30% calcium chloride in. And as I'd mentioned earlier on, we blend as we need for the event. So we have a pumping, electrical pumping system, we have a valve system, and then we have flow valves on our discharge hoses. So if we're going to blend a 30% calcium to a 1,000 gallon blend, that would give us 700 gallons of 23.3% brine, and we add the 300 gallons of calcium to that blend. And we're able to adjust for any snow event. Obviously now in March, we're getting much warmer temperatures and we're prim primarily just using the 23.3% brine with no calcium for both pre-treating and then also for pre-wetting. So as we go through uh, how we designed our storage area, one thing that we did, we built a containment dam around the whole area so that we're totally contained if we ever should have a spill which meets all city and state requirements. And then we have these totes. These are 275 gallon totes because we have some commercial clients that will buy brine from us uh, and also brine with the calcium mix that they will then apply themselves. So these are the totes that we use for that. So it gives us some flexibility. So one of the questions that we're always being asked is, Okay, you apply brine, you've got the big application equipment. How do you do the sidewalks? Well, the way we do the sidewalks is actually very simple. We, a couple of years ago, we decided to purchase these SnowX liquid sprayers. They have a 12 gallon containment, and again, we use the same brine formulation that we would use on the parking lots. And we literally, we apply the product has a spray nozzle in the front, has an electrical spray system, and we apply this product at one gallon per 1,000 square feet of sidewalks. And again, it gives us the pretreatment, and it also allows us to be extremely economical in our post application of salt, because we're not constantly having to chip away compacted snow because we've already got the pretreatment. And then with this particular piece of equipment, we have the flexibility of having a wand that we're able to spray steps or stairways to be able to provide the same level of service. By going to this system, we have reduced our post-application of granular salt from approximately one 50-pound bag covering 2,500 square feet to one 50-pound bag covering 10,000 square feet. So from an environmental standpoint, we're not getting product in the landscape. We're putting down just enough material to get a safe environment for our clients. We also use, in combination with liquids, we're using more uh, rotary brooms on sidewalks. And even in some instances, we are now finding that we can do a post application of brine to the pavement instead of using a granular product later. Clients love it because the liquid brine doesn't get tracked into buildings as does a granular product. So from a maintenance and a cleaning standpoint, we're trying to hit it on both sides and we've had great success doing it.